Hey guys, me like big boom here and welcome to Unturned 3.11.10. This week's update contained a lot of awesome stuff and now that Unturned is moving to a weekly update basis to help out the server hosters and that way they don't have to restart their server like every day, um, we can expect some bigger updates at the end of every week and today's update was a perfect example of that. Lots of stuff was added in today's update so let's get right into it. Uh, the first and biggest change that was added in today's update uh, was the move from desert themed military gear to forest themed. So everything that um, was military clothing or vehicles has now been swapped to a forest theme. As an example over here at Scorpion 7 you can see that all of the military zombies out front are now wearing forest gear and this makes a lot more sense. Canada is forest themed, it's not a desert. So as a result all the zombies are wearing uh, forest gear so that way they're more camouflaged. Now for those of you who still liked the desert gear, don't worry, all that's been added as if it's a whole entire new item and the IDs of those items will be in the description down below and also on the screen right now. But for now, as you can see, my character is wearing the forest versions of the new military gear. He's wearing a military top, bottom, and vest. There's also a helmet and a beret, and I think that's it in terms of the items that have been swapped over to a forest theme. Also in terms of the items that you can put down in the level editor, as you can see, we have the APC and a dark green and also the crashed Humvee over here and uh, that pretty much wraps that stuff up. Also on the vehicle side of things we also have the Forest Ural, Forest APC, and Forest Humvee. Definitely very cool. Back in Unturned 2.0 this is how it was set up. We had forest and desert versions of the military vehicles so it's very nice to see these return. And for those of you who also prefer the desert versions of the vehicles as well, those IDs will be on the screen right now and also in the description down below. Additionally, we got some new tactical attachments. Finally, we've been stuck with just two tactical attachments, the tactical laser and the tactical flashlight, and now we have two more to add to that collection. So now we have a good supply of additions that we can add to our gun to make them our own. The two new attachments for tactical slots are adaptive chambering and the rangefinder attachment. Both of these very useful. So the adaptive chambering actually increases the rate of fire of whatever weapon you attach it to and the rangefinder is pretty obvious it displays the range of uh, whatever you're aiming at. Now I will get into why that's useful in uh, a little bit but first let's start with the adaptive chambering. So as expected with any sort of automatic weapon I have here the maple strike. If you attach it to the weapon it will increase its rate of fire so this maple strike currently does not have any sort of tactical attachment on it right now and if I shoot it that's how fast it shoots. Pretty good, I'd say. And now when we attach the adaptive chambering attachment to it, it shoots quite a bit faster. Check that out. Now as a result, it comes with the expected downfalls. I mean, you're shooting a lot more bullets down range, so it consumes ammo more quickly. And also with it comes some more recoil as well from the increased fire rate. But of course, its advantage is that you are able to uh, drop enemies faster because you're putting more bullets down range. I definitely do like this. And with guns that already have a fast fire rate, like this Nykarev, it should be pretty fun to add an attachment like that on it. Whoa! <laughs> that is awesome. Now the attachment itself does have a look out in the physical world when you go to pick it up. It just kind of looks like a mini little dumbbell, also very small, so you might miss it sometimes. Uh, but when you attach it to your gun, it does not have any sort of look. It's all just in the internals of your gun to make it shoot faster. It isn't anything attached to the outside of the gun. Next is the range finder. Now this obviously displays the range of whatever you're looking at or how far it is away. I'm in imperial measurements, so it's um, displaying in yards, but if you'd like to change it, you can go in the options menu and swap it to metric, and as you can see, it's now in meters. Now you probably think because there isn't any sort of bullet drop or damage drop off at range, it might not be all that useful, but it is very useful for if you, let's say, find a person over at the farm and you now know that because it's red and it's displaying a question mark on its range, you know that the target is out of that gun's range and you should not take the shot because the bullet's not going to reach there. I've had very many instances where I'm playing in a PvP server and I see a person like across the river or really far away. Now I'm not sure if he's too far away that I should take the shot or if he's close enough and I'll actually be able to kill him. And if you end up taking a shot and find out that he's too far away, then now everyone knows where you are because you just shot a super loud sniper. Very, very nice. This is definitely a must-have attachment for anyone who is sniping. Also, one thing that I want to try out with the Matamoras 
is uh, putting on adaptive chambering on it because the Matamoras is fully automatic and putting adaptive chambering on it might actually be super useful. So we can turn it into like uh, a marksman rifle by putting on a red dot sight, a vertical grip, adaptive chambering and we could just go around. Yeah, it actually shoots pretty quick. And it's got pretty high damage as well. This might actually be, with the right attachments, a very good rifle. Yeah, this is nice. Also we have some new extended attachments for the Matamoras and the Cobra. This is very cool as well and this will help out with the marksman rifle aspect of the Matamoras. We now have the Matamoras box that you can attach to the Matamoras and as you can see it now has 25 shots rather than 10. So this is also very useful in turning the Matamoras to a rifle rather than a sniper rifle or just making it like both. So now I've got a lot of ammo in here. Very nice. You can really trick out these uh, these guns with all these attachments. This is awesome. And then also with the Cobra, you can go all out Rambo style with a super high 40 round magazine and also put on adaptive chambering on this one. I'll take it off my Matamoras. Here we go. And put it on our Cobra. Reload with the higher magazine. And now we can shoot really, really fast. That is awesome. Can you imagine like walking around a corner? And somebody has this, just like, ah! <laughs> that is awesome. Look at all these bullet holes. That is awesome. I'm definitely going to have to make that my secondary. That's just going to be a whole lot of fun to, to just completely shred someone when they walk around the corner. But anyway, that wraps up all the additions in today's update. Also, we had some pretty big changes to the Summerside military base. Uh, there weren't any changes to the layout, but... Uh, the walls have been changed to a wall that's a little bit more similar to what was in Unturned 2.0 and I'm having trouble remembering what it looked like before. Um, if I can find a video of me going through the military base, um, I'll put that on the- No, 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 it had a bunch of HESCOs, those yellow little sandbag things. That's what coated the whole entire walls and what separated all these different things and it has now been changed to um, a stone wall but uh, quite a bit bigger as well and then on the inside we have these wooden fences pretty cool all the buildings have been changed to a desert theme as well and of course all the zombies are now wearing desert gear we have a desert tank over here it's all just been changed the color and the theme of things have been more um, forest themed pretty cool so there's nothing else that you need to get used to at all it's all just in the same place it just looks a little bit different Personally, I think the green buildings look a little funny. Maybe if they were just left gray or something, uh, that would be cool. I think it's, it works in these ones a bit, and these uh, wooden fences feel too civilian-like. So maybe if we had forest Tescos, then this military base would be looking a lot cooler. But still, I definitely do prefer these, uh, these new concrete walls. These are very cool. But anyway, that pretty much wraps up everything in today's update, everything major at least. There were still a few minor improvements, tweaks, and fixes, but if you guys like to check those out, I will put the full update post in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because you like Big Boom is out.